everyone, I'm Dr. Tani Ping, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist and I'm here today now at Taiwan for a special workshop and with me today, I have Dr. Ang Hui Min. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Ang Hui Min, I'm a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist based in Johor Bahru. Okay, the two of us and a bunch of other doctors, we actually came to Taiwan to look at one new procedure, not so new, it has been around in Malaysia for a long time but probably not so popular yet and we want to explore new ways we can use this particular technology to help our patients in Malaysia. Dr. An, can you maybe just explain to us this thing that we call microwave ablation? Microwave ablation of uterine fibroid is actually using the energy to disrupt the structure inside the fibroid that we have and shrink it. I have been doing it for the last 1-2 years and I realised that after 1 year, most of the fibroids are down by 60%. Fibroid is a growth in our body that all the women concern a lot. It can cause heavy bleeding, period pain. And it's very common. Yeah. Traditionally, women had to go through very big surgery, right? Yeah, of course we have a lot of other options. We have uh, medical option, medication, but medication usually not working well. The surgery option, we actually have uh, this minimal invasive surgery, which we call laparoscopy. Keyhole surgery yeah. was already there for the last uh, probably 15 to 20 years, and that has made a big improvement to the patient's quality of life after surgery because they can recover very fast yep. after about 7 to 10 days. And the pain after surgery is actually very minimal comparing to the big wound that we have. Yes, and that was already minimally invasive. But this one is super minimal. Yes, <laughs> it's super minimal because it's just one little tiny injection. injection. Microwave ablation is actually suitable for the woman with huge fibroid uh, that is very near to the abdominal wall that we can easily introduce a needle in and deliver the energy to disrupt the fibroid. The ones that deep behind, we also can put the needle through the vagina yes. in. Can you imagine if the needle goes in through your vagina? Under anesthesia, you don't feel anything. And after surgery, you don't feel you, anything. You got no scar. No scar, <laughs> no wound. Other than fibroid, we can also use microwave ablation for this condition called adenomyosis. Adenomyosis is always a big problem for okay. people who are trying to get pregnant. Microwave ablation is one of the options to actually kill the adenomyosis cell and then mm. help the women to conceive. Yeah, so that we no need to make a very big wound over your wound and reduce the complication for your future pregnancy. I have been doing microwave ablation in Malaysia for the last like almost two years, but mainly for fibroids. So the thing that I get from this trip today is that I can actually use it for adenomyosis and in fact, it gives better results than the conventional surgery. Yep. So I think that's something I'm going to start after yeah. this. So one more is uh, caesarean scar endometriosis. Some women after a caesar, yeah. they actually have caesarean scar endometriosis and we can also use microwave to just burn it off unlike in the past we have to do a surgery again to remove yeah. the endometriosis sometimes in certain situations we still do a laparoscopy yeah. and combine with a microwave that is to help us to see clearly and not only that if we want to remove the fibroid on the uterus then the wound on the uterus sometimes can be very big yep. so now I only put a small little needle through the uterus so the wound on the uterus is much less yeah, this is going to be benefit for those who is trying to get pregnant later. And actually the pain also less. So this is a very beneficial trip, right? Yeah, of yeah. course. We really learned a lot and we're happy to come here because we want to bring new things for our patients in Malaysia. So you know you can do open surgery, you can do keyhole surgery and you also have super minimal invasive by doing microwave ablation. I will have a short video clip and there's an illustration of how it works. And if you need to know more, discuss with your doctor today for yeah. the best treatment option. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. bye bye. Microwave ablation thermal therapy. Also known as MWA, it is a uterus conserving technique. With this tiny microwave ablation antenna, to kill only the fibroid or adenomyosis without injuring healthy tissue. MWA fibroids or adenomyosis can be performed by abdominal approach. It is a safe treatment which is guided by ultrasound image throughout the procedure. Ensuring precise insertion of the MWA antenna into the targeted area. MWA uses heat to kill and necrotize the fibroid tissue, and shrink the fibroid without cutting or removing the uterus. It is a very fast procedure, which can be completed in about 15 minutes. The residual fibroids will continue to shrink and completely absorb by our body eventually. Most importantly, your uterus remains intact with virtually no scarring left on your stomach. MWA can also be treated by vaginal approach. MWA antenna comes with a smart cooling system internally, to prevent the risk of overheating or damage to normal tissue. 
The whole procedure will be precisely monitored by ultrasound image. A tiny MWA antenna of 1.6 mm is inserted into the fibroids. Activation of microwave energy will heat up the tissue in the fibroids, causing the fibroids tissue to die, leading to shrinkage of the fibroids without removing them. MWA is able to treat multiple fibroids simultaneously. The treated fibroids do not require any removal or cutting. They will shrink as the body absorb the ablated tissue over time, it helps to regain a functional and healthy uterus.